Okay, so today's episode I'm going to talk to you guys about how to get a domain name. So you're going to go to GoDaddy.com and we've already talked about branding your site across the board on Facebook, fan page, Instagram, and on GoDaddy. So when you go to GoDaddy, you'll be wondering, which one do I buy? There's a .com, there's a .biz, there's a .org. Well, you only need a .com unless you're specialized or have tax paperwork with a nonprofit or you're in a unique industry. Let me give you an example. There is a business here called Yelp that's a dog rescue and they had a website called yelp.org. Well, we all know about Yelp because it's one of the biggest companies out there. Well, you can absolutely have two businesses named the same thing in different categories, like in a nonprofit and a regular business. So you don't feel like you need to like scoop up all the sites with your name. You don't need to get your business name in a .com, .biz, .org because somebody's going to steal your idea. No. In fact, that's why I do it this way. I'll usually lock down the names in, in the domain site through GoDaddy and on Facebook and Instagram because really a business that's going to LLC their, their um, company isn't going to be too concerned. Like They're not going to try to um, go after what you have. They want to brand their own unique name. So this way you can test and see how your business is going to do first. I usually run it for a year. If it does well, then I'll LLC it. Keep records of everything so you can file things normally. So when you go to GoDaddy, you're going to pick the domain name you want and then go to purchase. It will try to strategically talk you into getting so many other things that you don't need. But you're going to actually have to look at the bottom of the page that says no thank you. You don't need hosting right now. You don't need SL SSL right now. You don't need five years of that domain name. You're literally going to click your domain name, going to ask you if you want this, that, or the other. Look at the bottom. It says, no, thank you. Hit that. Go to the next page. It'll try it again. Say, no, thank you. Go to the next page. Then you're going to get to your total. Well, if you're a new customer, you're going to get a special promo. Your first year of domain, your first year with a new domain is usually going to be between $1 and $4.99. But you're going to notice it's going to say something like $50, $60, Look at how many years that the system has you set up for. When you go to checkout, usually it automatically makes it five years just to get you to pay five years in advance. Go ahead and make it change. Click the button that says year and make your domain name purchase for one year year. It will adjust your price to under $20. Keep in mind you will have to renew your domain every year, but I suggest paying for it yearly. You can keep a credit card on file if you'd like, but it will remind you. Now, now that you've bought your domain name, what happens if you forget to pay for your domain and you, the date has ended, you've lost your domain? Well, check this out. Automatically, GoDaddy will keep that website locked from anybody purchasing it for about up to, well, you're looking at five weeks to eight weeks, so about under two months. So they will try to convince you to pay $200, $300 to get your backed up system. They'll even say, well, we might not even be able to do it, but it'll be this much. Don't fall for it. So basically, they're trying to get you to pay a larger fee because you missed the deadline to renew your site and they know you worked very hard on building it. Don't worry about it. Wait about six weeks, go back to the site, check to see if your site is available again. If it's not there, go back a few days later. About seven to eight weeks in, they will release your website for purchase again. Guess what? I promise you, no one is going to try to steal your website name. As soon as it's available again, you can purchase it for that same price of under $20 a year. So don't stress. Just wait for them to release your website and then scoop it back up and lock it down. 
So I hope this was helpful to you guys. And I hope you enjoyed my channel. Please like, subscribe, and share. And next episode, I'll talk to you guys about how to set up a free website. Thank you. Bye.